everyone, I'm Holly and today I am making some smaller batches and testing out some fragrances. The one I'm going to test now is Fresh Raspberry from Nature's Garden. Now, I can't tell if that's focusing or not. Maybe not. Um, I can't decide what I think about this one. Out of bottle, it's definitely more raspberry leaf than just sweet raspberry, but that's why I'm testing it. I'm going to add in some goat milk. I have some goat milk in the fridge I need to use up, so I thought that would be fun to do today. So we just have some goat milk, it's just about an ounce for this five pound batch of soap. I'm going to add in the lye solution. Now I do need to strain this. I made this all up the other day and never got to it. Some of this will be repetitive if I do actually upload all the videos because they're all kind of the same scenario. But I thought I would split it up into different videos. Most of the crunchies are staying on the bottom. So this is mostly a single color soap, so it's not gonna matter as much if I blend it a little bit further than emulsification. So I am actually going to pour out just a teeny tiny bit for maybe like a green strip on the top, we'll see. So I want this to obviously be pinkish raspberry. It's not going to be a identical raspberry color. I have mixed Queen of Hearts, Trial by Fire, and a little bit of Hollywood and Winter White together. Those are all nurture colorants. We'll just see what happens here. This will probably be more watermelony than my last batch, which was watermelony. So when you pour out, you got to get up in that spout, otherwise that will be uncolored as it pours out. I am making a doozy of a mess here. Not necessary at all. Now I am going to add in just a little bit of apricot seed powder. I love this stuff. Um, I don't find it scratchy for me, so I do enjoy using it, but I'm not going to put in very much at all because a little goes a long way. And I think that's why I was reading the reviews and a lot of people say, oh, so scratchy. Well, you can't put in a teaspoon or a tablespoon per pound of oil. You just have to put in a teeny tiny bit, but I think we might need a teeny tiny bit more than that because I don't even see it. I know a lot of people on my lemon poppy seed video from a little ways back thought, oh, it was going to be so scratchy. Well, we are using it and I can tell you it is delightful. We don't find it scratchy at all. But it is a nice soap to use at the kitchen sink. And that lemon essential oil I used that day, I think that's all I did was lemon. I might have mixed it. Either way, it's, it's done a good job. It smells really nice. All right, so we're going to go in now with this fragrance. Now we're just going to see how it does. Tapping out the air bubbles, you probably, I don't know if you could see them, but all, they were all popping because air gets uh, trapped here in this shaft. I don't remember if the reviews said whether this accelerates or not. I blended it quite a bit, really, and it's quite thin still. It's 
starting to get it a light trace. Now sometimes goat milk can cause soap batches to accelerate, but I used such a little amount and it was cold, so that's helping things along. Plus my light solutions, they were like cool. It's 66 in here today because it's only, it's 73 in Missouri in July. I just don't even know. So it's an amazingly beautiful day and it's only 66 in here with my air conditioner running. So everything is quite cool and that's how I like to operate. I left AC on because it actually would get hot in here and I don't like to get hot. Hmm, that's getting better. Look at that now. Can you see that trace now? Go ahead and stir up this little bit of green. I don't think I need as much as I even put in there, so we'll see. Of course, it's just super duper thin because there's no fragrance in it and no stick blending. So I do feel like this might have been a better watermelon color than my last batch. Maybe I should have switched it around. We'll see. All right, let's do... We're just going to get it poured in. Now one fragrance I like but doesn't pack a lot of punch is uh, Raspberry Jam from Brambleberry. So this might be a good mixer with that. It does discolor just a little bit, so. I'm a fragrance mixer. I like to take ones that I, I like certain parts of and kind of jazz everything up. So I think this fragrance would be a good one to jazz up a little bit. You can see it's starting to get a little on the thick side now. Fortunately, my battery died, which was very poor timing. One of these days, I'm going to find a camera that has the battery doodad on the side. Alright, so what I thought I'd do... Uh, literally whoa that is too much that was way too much it's so thin <laughs> oh boy so basically what I wanted to do we'll see if this is gonna work now I just wanted to kind of swoosh it around yeah that's kind of not working out as as anticipated. <laughs> I ended up with too much and it was too thin. But once again, we're just testing here. So, not the end of the world. Kind of cool looking actually with this pink flops and back over. I was just wanting it just like a little bit of a hey, I'm green here. Yeah, that's not too bad. Not too good, but not too bad either. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Alright, so here we have the fresh raspberry test. I can always cut that top off if I want to. And I will see you back here for the cut. And back to cut this fresh raspberry soap and it actually turned out pretty good I thought that the green up here was getting muddy because you know green and pink together 
mint brown. But it actually looks pretty good. And here we have a cut bar. I do like how it turned out and I love the speckles. You can see that, I think so. And I am a little bit happier with the fragrance now. Um, it's still that green raspberry. It's not a super sweet raspberry, but it's still quite nice and it has mellowed some as it's cured. It's been a couple of weeks and it really is nice. I would make it a mixer, I'm pretty sure, but it's okay as is. Obviously somebody's going to adore it anyway. I just like a little bit of a sweeter raspberry. Looks like I need to tighten up my wire a little bit. That seems pretty tight. Maybe it's could use a little something something. Try to be more steady. Yeah, that's pretty good. I still got a little bit of a Oh, you probably can't really see it. There's a little bit of a wobble right there. All in all, this did turn out pretty good. Now, this bar has been cut for a while. So, it has discolored just a little bit. Cut before, just cut. So, you can see that it discolors a hint, kind of dries a little bit darker, which is perfect. And I think I prefer this color for a watermelon color. So I have good notes and I'll make sure I check it out next time before I do a watermelon. Again, I'm actually getting ready to remake our watermelon farmhouse soap. So that's why I was doing all these testings of colors because I did not really care for its color last time so I thought you know what probably ought to test that one out so that I can make it just as I want it sometimes colors can just surprise you you know yesterday in in my real world time I made a batch of high society and it was supposed to be navy and magenta and <laughs> it just lightened up and lightened up and now it's kind of like a bluey gray and kind of like a muted rose pink so it's still gorgeous i actually love how it turned out and i would probably duplicate it but it did surprise me a little bit i kind of cut that one just a little bit wonky you want to see that batch i'll go get it We'll just, I'll just show it to you. I hadn't mixed this combo before. So, you know, I learned something new. It's still gorgeous. Like, I love it. I made rose quartz, oh, a very long time ago. And it was like a pale gray and a pink and white. And it was gorgeous. And I don't know, I just, rose quartz isn't really my scent, so I don't tend to buy it. I probably should. It'll probably be discontinued, you know, because everything I like is. But either way, it's still a pretty blue tinged gray color, but it just wasn't what I was <laughs> going for. So now I know next time I will adjust my colors. So any who's it, here we have the raspberry, fresh raspberry test soap. Testing the colors, testing the fragrance, and it still turned out quite delightful. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.